When we were growing up, we didn't have anybody to look up to. My mom, she was always crying or emotionally unstable, and we had to take care of her. My sister and I were responsible for ourselves. We cooked, we cleaned. I had to grow up at a really young age. I developed an eating disorder when I was like 10, because it gave me something to focus on. It was like the only one thing that I could control. I was about 25 when I started to really rely on alcohol as a form of changing the way that I felt. What got me involved with the sugar daddies was the quick money. I didn't grow up with a lot of money, so a guarantee that I would be able to have food on the table and like a shelter over my head. I was dating 50-year-old sugar daddies and upwards of 70 years old. I was going out with sugar daddies like every night. I literally set myself up. I'm planning for failure before I even start something. I wasn't taught like coping skills. I wasn't taught how to deal with stress or sadness or pain. I use food or drugs and alcohol. Honestly, I don't think about actually drinking it. I just think about the fact that I'm gonna be numb afterward. It's worth it to me. Let, let, let me ask you something. You know, we're in Hollywood, and in Hollywood, they write scripts. And I, I wanna know if, if you were going to write a life script, what would your life be like in a perfect world? To be happy and like present. Like I'm always in my head, I'm like preparing for, for what to do when I fail. Okay, so you would, you would have some peace. And you said not worry about what is gonna happen when you fail, so you would live without anxiety. Yeah. What would you, what would you wanna do? I wanna what, like help people. And, and, and you said that, that you would like to be happy. Yeah. Okay. And like be able to like contribute to society and like support myself. Okay. And um, how about your health? Yeah, would you I want to be healthy. You like to be healthy? Okay. Like exercise and get back into running. Uh-huh. So you, you're a runner? Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, what what did you do for fun? Um, it's hard to picture like what I would do for fun. Oh, I would I would definitely like have my dog with me. Uh -huh. Like go to the dog park and like okay. raise him like healthy. <laughs> Even uh -huh. my dog has like so much anxiety. Uh huh. Because of me. So be with yeah. your dog. Uh-huh. What kind of dog? Sheep a doodle. <laughs> uh-huh. Now where's your dog now? It's at my my mom's house. Mm-hmm. There's nothing up there that is um unrealistic. Yeah, it's like not even a tall order. But it you know, feels so like I've just lowered the bar so low that it's just like it seems impossible. If my choice was to go out and behave in a way that I wake up dead or with a breathing tube shoved down my throat. If somebody gave me some kind of a formula to do this instead of this, uh, it'd be a pretty easy choice for me. I, I don't know. You know, we'll see. Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!